and welcome to Aisha's take on the headlines. I mean, the setting is a bit strange, right? I have a meeting. I'm, I'm about to really catch up with it. I just feel that I need to get this done. It's getting late today. And you know what they say? There are no bad weather, only bad clothing. And whatever we do, we just have to get the work done. And so we're starting right in another ASU strike, probably imminent. That's the talk that is going on. It's really sad that the educational uh, system of this country is so is so deprived of the quality that it's needed. At the rate at which we are going, I've been saying it for years, we might get to a place where it is only the government uh, establishment that will be hiring graduates from the public universities. And it's really sad what students have to go through, students of public universities, why their counterparts in private universities or out of the country are going on with their education smoothly. Years have to be truncated. And you know, ASU is now turning out to be like NUT, the Nigeria Union of Teachers, where they go on strike and nobody really bothers because at the end of the day, most people uh, who are the who are who in the country, their children are not in this uh, schools. And then we have a story, another of the headlines was Pastor allegedly fake self-kidnap. I mean, it's <laughs> It's, I don't even know what to say about that, but these are one some of the things that you keep seeing because people are looking for ways to make money and they do not care how they make that money. But the bad thing about things like this is that when there's actual kidnap going on, people might begin to wonder and think that it is not. There's also talk of doctors. Doctors might probably uh, be going to or uh, be going on strike. Then the next thing we are going to touch on, of course, is the issue, the saga of Gumi, DSS, whether he was arrested or he was not arrested. There were reports that DSS, uh, that Gumi had been arrested by the DSS, but Gumi comes out to say that he hasn't been arrested. And also there's a place where, of course, he's talking about that he and the security agents are working together. And then we have another of the, you know, headlines out there was that hunger, starvation, imminent over security concerns. For years, we've kept talking about the fact that people have been driven away from the farms. Farmers are not in farms. Farmers are in IDP camps. You know, the insecurity has driven a lot of people away from the farms. And if there's no uh, 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 food from the farms, what's going to happen? And I think one of the things that Nigeria is not really paying attention to the 